You know, it's funny. I've been getting a lot of emails. A father I'm in regarding acquiring AMC, firing Adam Aaron, and firing the current board of directors of AMC. But I am also getting a lot of comments and a lot of, a lot of people saying, give it up, Ape Father. Nobody's going to hire you as AMC uh, CEO. Nobody wants you. Nobody takes you seriously. Okay. I think what's happening is it's a combination of two things. A lot of these people, I'm convinced, because these are the same people, a lot of them, from the very beginning who hated me. Okay, so I, I am really convinced, and I'm not kidding you, that these are Citadel bots. Like, they work for Citadel because it's the same people. Sometimes, in some cases, they change their names, they, they'll alter their names a little bit. But overall, it's the same people. And the ones that I believe are positive are real people. Okay, so what it is is that these, these bots are set in place to actually discourage the real apes. This is what I'm trying to make you understand. They are they're there to discourage you. Not only for me, by the way, but to sell AMC, to give up, to quit, to pack it in. And they've been doing it for two years straight. Okay, there's nothing new. They've been doing it for two years straight. So what you have to do is ignore these people. Ignore these bots. Ignore these haters. Make believe they don't exist. Do not let them influence your choices and your decision to hold AMC, to have conviction in AMC. But also, you have to be realistic about the current leadership of AMC. That's the thing. I'm talking to the real apes. You have to understand that Adam Aaron is not our friend. The guy is out for himself. He will not bite the hand that feeds him, which is the short sellers. That's it. If you, you ever hear that expression, don't bite the hand that feeds you, <laughs> he's not going to do it. So Adam Aaron hiring share intel will never happen, in my opinion. That's it. It's just, you know, I'll say it's alleged, but it's in my opinion. I don't think he'll ever do it because he will not bite the hand that feeds him. So the choices that you have in front of you who are the real AMC apes are to believe in the current leadership, to believe in the current the, the board of directors who actually make all the decisions and to say to yourself, do they have the best interest for the apes? If the answer to that question is yes, then just buy and hold. That's it. Forget about everything I'm saying. But this is the thing. <laughs> as more delusion occurs, as AMC goes lower in price, as AMC's uh, vault right now, which used to be $2 billion that they had to their name, is now somewhere between seven to $800 million. They're burning through money like crazy getting to a point where a lot of analysts don't think they're going to make it one more year. Okay, so this is the hedge fund's plan. To wait it out, to continue to use those synthetic shares, I'll say allegedly, but we know, and to keep AMC low, okay? And then if this 10 for 1 reverse stock split hits and you lose 90% of your shares, that's going to be like a feast, you know, it's like you ever go to Red Lobster and you have the all-you-can-eat shrimp feast. That's going to be the all-you-can-eat AMC feast. It's like going to Big Ed's. All-you-can-eat rib feast. It's going to be a feast for them. Okay, so Antara, all the hedge funds, get to short that down to the oblivion again, just like they did before. So you really got to ask yourself these questions before it's too late. Is the current leadership on our side? After the 10 for 1 stock split, Will the hedge funds, will Intero, will ever, Ken Griffin, Citadel, will they short AMC to the oblivion? And at the current fundamentals of AMC, how long could they hold on with only having seven to eight hundred dollars liquid? A million. Seven to eight hundred million liquid. You know, they, they went through about a billion too. Of our money, by the way, that we gave them. So these are all the very important questions that you have to ask yourself. So that's why you need somebody like the Ape Father, who is going to immediately hire share intel, immediately expose the corruption, immediately expose the synthetics, report it back to you, turn AMC from a public to a private company, forcing the short sellers to, to close their position. And like I said, there's a lot of things we could do after that. But that's, see, that should be the first priority. Don't worry about step two. Step one, expose the corruption. 
expose the synthetics. Then after that, there's a million things we could do. We could even go public again under a different t ticker symbol. And, you, you know, whatever equity you have will be exchanged for shares. People worry. To, you know what it is? I like, to, I like to always do step one. This is just me before step two. A lot of people in this world, like I'll give you an example. I write a song and it's, you know, say it's a beautiful song on the piano. A lot of people can't appreciate it until it's a finished product. They, they, they got it. I want to hear the bass. I want to hear the guitar. I want to hear the vocals. I want to hear it mixed. I want to hear all the effects. I want it to be radio ready. But sometimes you got to be what's called a visionary. And you have to be able to just see through the beginning steps the future. See, I have that ability. I have the ability, I'm a visionary, where I can see right from the raw beginning steps where the future is going to take us. A lot of people can't do that. So that's why a lot of people are like, well, what happens after this? And what happens after that? And what happens after this? And what happens after that? Don't worry about it. Worry about the most important thing. Exposing the corruption. Changing the leadership. Exposing the synthetics. Turning AMC from a public to a private company. These are the most important first steps that could cause the MOAS. So, and could make, make history, history in the making, that we might just have exposed the biggest Ponzi scheme since Bernie Madoff. Again, I'll say alleged. <laughs> but it could make history. So, once again, I am not asking for money. This is not a solicitation for an investment. I'm asking for an email. That's it. Very simple. Richard, R-I-C-H-A-R-D. L is in Larry, E is in Edward, 101 at gmail.com. Richard, R-I-C-H-A-R-D, L as in Larry, E as in Edward, 101 at gmail.com. Simply say, I'm in. I'm not asking you for any money. Okay, it's not a solicitation for an investment. I'm looking to accumulate enough apes. And when I'm ready, hire a prestigious law firm that will file all the legal documents. You will receive a prospectus. You can consult with your own attorney, but we're not there yet. We're only at the email phase. Send me an email. Let's build up enough apes. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. This video is not legal advice. I am not an attorney. This video and all my videos are for entertainment purposes only because that's what I am. The world's greatest entertainer. The one, the only, ape father in the house, baby. Wow! I have to look now a little bit to the right so I can shut off the, shut off the video.